So I guess the, uh, from religious perspective, I'm moving on to my third slide, which is about vaccine being a gift from God, delivered by human endeavor. Uh, and, and Islamic tradition is very clear on that, that believing that uh, effectively God did not send down any disease, but that he also sent its cure. So from our perspective, it's very much about vaccine being a cure from God that we need to uh, adopt. But it's quite natural to have questions, concerns, and effectively, uh, this is what we've been dealing with uh, in our work at Minar Mosque and Imam's National Advisory Board. There's some religious concerns, and uh, so in my one of my slide six, we talk about the religious concerns, firstly, uh, whether or not the vaccine is safe. And, and um, you know, scholars in the UK, as well as abroad, have consulted health professionals, micro nanochip experts and everyone else to uh, confirm that they, the, the vaccines that are being used in the UK, they are permissible under Islamic law. They do not contain any aborted fetal cells or animal protein or alcohol. And as a result, they are permissible from Islamic perspective. They are halal. Uh, and even if they did contain uh, a negligible amount of this, these substances, there's a valid position that if an unlawful substance undergoes a significant change in its chemical nature or physical properties, then it becomes permissible. Uh, so effectively, uh, there, is no, there should be no hesitation from religious perspective to take the vaccines that are being administered in the UK.